if we try to get it from the sun, you know, in the last 20 years, we're told to not go out in the sun. And if we go outside, cover up, put a big hat on, and the sunscreen and all of that stuff because of risk of skin cancer. How do you balance getting the sun that you need, the right kind of sun, the amount of sun that you need versus too much? So um, this, the sun question is always a sticky topic um, uh, because uh, you can't ignore the evolutionary or anthropologic idea that we were designed under the sun, in the sun, um, we were designed to be able to manage its exposure. Um, that's what pig pigment in our skin was, mm -hmm. was for. Um, uh, and yes, there have been some changes as humans have migrated from equatorial environments away from the equator and, and skin tones have faded uh, or gotten. Um, uh, and that was on purpose because as you moved away from the equator, there was less ultraviolet B radiation available for de exposure, so you had to get rid of the, the melanin in your skin mm -hmm. in order to still maintain a normal vitamin D level. So just looking at it from that evolutionary perspective, it's still telling you this is where Mother Nature meant for us to, to get this. So we have the capacity to make it, um, manage it, and protect ourselves from sun. Um, the, our problem comes with our lifestyles, okay? and we're indoors more often than we're outdoors, which doesn't allow our skin to adapt to sun exposure. So that when we only get sun on a weekend, or maybe not even, maybe only one weekend a month even, mm -hmm. um, uh, our skin has not had an, a chance to adapt to the UV exposure, and so that one dose ends up being an overdose. Okay, so it's like binge sunning. <laughs> okay. It's like binge drinking, <laughs> binge sunning. Uh, and so you get this whopping dose, and then you get nothing for weeks. Uh -huh. And then you get a whopping dose, and you get nothing for weeks. And the system wasn't designed for that kind of sun exposure. It was mm -hmm. designed for a modest amount or a moderate amount on a daily basis or every other, daily ba uh, every other day basis, but on, with, with some regularity. Um, and it, and when, it, when it gets it that way, I mean, look at the Inuit uh, Indians or Eskimos. They have very dark skin, and you think, mm -hmm. okay, they're, they're up at the equator. It's like 60-plus degrees north latitude, and they have dark skin. Well, they get lots of reflected sunlight off the snow, sure. okay, which intensifies their sun exposure. <clears throat> and most of the sun exposure they get is ultraviolet A, okay? And ultraviolet A doesn't make vitamin D, but it darkens your skin, okay? Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, and uh, they're, they're getting most of their D from food. Okay, but so the question of the question of the sun exposure gets to how much is too much and how should you get your sun if you're going to get sun. Okay, the idea there is <clears throat> don't get burned. That's rule number one. Okay, a sunburn is when your your skin starts turning slightly pink and beyond that, mm -hmm. and then it just gets more pink or more red after that. Okay. That, that's something we call one minimal erythemal dose, is when it just starts getting pink. Thankfully, it only takes about 25% or 50% of that dose to make all the vitamin D you need. Okay. okay? So you don't even have to get halfway to a sunburn, and you've made enough vitamin D. Now, it may take you a while to know your own skin and how quickly you get to that point. How many minutes mm -hmm. can I spend outdoors before that happens? And it has to do with the, your skin tone in general, okay? Darker skin tone people have to spend more time out in the, the sun before they reach that one minimal erythemal dose. So it's not the same for everybody. It, mm -hmm. it differs with skin tone. The darker your skin tone, the longer it takes to get there. The, short, the, the fairer your skin tone, the shorter it takes to get there. But you, you may have to learn something about yourself. Because even picking a skin tone, saying, well, I think I'm skin tone two or one, a very fair skin, um, uh, you may find that you tan faster than you thought you did. So it may take some playing around with or experimenting mm -hmm. before you know what that cut point is. But then you, once you have that m first minimal erythemal dose and you know when you turn slightly pink, then you can say, okay, that took 45 minutes, so half of that is all I need to make vitamin D, and after that I can put sunscreen on or cover up with hats or long sleeves or light-colored light clothing mm -hmm. to reflect the sun uh, away from the body or, or get out of the sun uh, at that point in time.